demain je viendrai pour vous manger Tout ou rien, moi j'ai choisi tout C'est toujours le même qui faisait tout On est toujours le même qui faisait tout L'étranger voit ce que trouve l'ampoule Avec Jules et ma wife Sophia, back in 2012 We had a really nice trip cruising around the island and scoring some fun sailing. Then we went back in 2017 with Jules and Sylvain. We scored uh, this insane starboard tack point break. And um, yes, that was definitely one of the reasons for us to come back. Conditions were really nice, but then the wind dropped and switched a little bit uh, cross on. So it was time for us to leave um, and go to this other point break. A left hand up point break that we discovered in 2017. Uh, back then the conditions were not optimal, so we could sail it, get a little taste, but we knew it could be much better. When we arrived to the spot, from far the waves looked nice, but it's really far, it's about two kilometers from the road. So we had to really make a plan and walk with our board bag for like almost a kilometer, make a first camp and then go with the wetsuit with the rest and um, yeah it was a real mission but it was worth it because once the boys got in the water I was filming them and I realized the, the waves were much bigger than what we thought.
day we were just uh, really stoked. I mean, we had this nice Star Wars attack session in the morning and then moving to this other place uh, we scored just epic conditions. Uh, I don't think we expected it to be so fun. For our first trip in 2012, we just had a small rental car and uh, we were putting up the tent every evening. In 2017, we went with the same strategy, spent the first night in the tent. Uh, some locals saw us and I think they felt pity for us. One of them offered us uh, very kindly to stay in his house. That was amazing uh, and unexpected. For this trip, we organized ourselves a little bit better because we thought, okay, we're gonna score two big days of sailing. We need to have a warm place and get good food and get some good rest. While we were there, every morning at the bed and breakfast, uh, people were asking us, oh, did you go to the volcano, the volcano? There is this volcano which is uh, in eruption since uh, about a hundred days already now. It was like uh, insane to see, like, we are really close from the lava and uh, wow. On the second day, actually we thought this would be the best day of the trip, but somehow the tide was a bit wrong and the wind changed a little bit direction and the spot didn't look so pretty anymore but still it was like solid mast high and uh, side side of shore wind uh, we had a really really nice afternoon sailing um, a little bit more challenging as i said but uh, i mean scoring conditions like this in the summer uh, for us uh, europeans it's like a blessing. about having a good time with friends, making a break from just the daily routine, uh, escaping a few days, putting all the energy and uh, making this kind of mission like we did with uh, walking two kilometers with ball bags, which is really a mission. I don't think that's a, um, an exaggeration to use this word. 
yeah, once again we, I think we scored and just a quick trip with the boys um, was definitely a success.